allow us to have a longer lifespan with this thing. So, Steve, I think you do talk about a sense of planned lifespan. That is that you're not trying to make something that lasts forever, but you should, from the beginning, realize, mm -hmm. hey, we're going to probably have to change this out in a number of years. So let's build it in such a way that it's easier to change out in a number of years as opposed to pretending this thing is going to last forever. Right. There's an economic concept known as the economic life, where think of a car. When you buy a brand new car, m m the investment in the car is in buying the car. The maintenance costs are really low. Okay. As you keep the car longer and longer and longer, the what you paid for it becomes less and less a, a portion of how much you paid total and the maintenance costs start to uh, increase. And so what you see is the, um, if I can draw the graph this way you know, here, that you're starting with low maintenance cost and over time you're increasing the maintenance cost. And on the other hand, you're starting with a high investment, but then you're amortizing the investment over the lifetime of the car. When you add those two cost curves together, it's the shape of the letter U. And what you're looking for is the point where the, the cost is the lowest on both of those. I mean, think about rental car companies. Uh, the rental car companies are selling the car uh, at what, three years, four years old? Because they've determined that that's the economic life of the car. It gives them the most amortization of the cost to buy the car with the least amount of forward coming maintenance cost, it's most economical for them to keep the car that long and sell it and buy a new one. And the point is that we need to be looking at the same way at software. Yes, there was a big initial investment to put it in place, but over time you've amortized that initial investment, but what's coming is the maintenance costs are continually increasing, increasing, increasing. And we should, in the industry, really commit to, okay, we're going to build this new version of the system, but our anticipated economic life is, let's just say, 12 years. We're going to put in place a plan today. We haven't even built the new system yet, but we know that we're going to replace it after 12 years. We're not going to drag it out 20 years. We're not going to drag about 25 years. We're going to act on the knowledge that after 12 years, we're intentionally going to replace it because it's going to be cheaper than trying to drag it through 24 years where the last sure. 12 years are just crazy maintenance. Well, that gets to my point about brittleness, right? And, and, it, and it shows up. <laughs>